Among the eight and a half thousand sailors that are taking part in Cow's Week, there are lots of very well-known names. And among them is Richard Matthews. Now, for a lot of people, Richard will be known as the man who set up Oyster. But he'll also be known to a lot of competitors as someone who just comes to Cow's Week again and again and again. Richard, how, when did you do your first Cow's Week? Well, Matt, I think I go back to about 1969. Okay. So if you do the maths, it's... It's been a while, as they say. And you've done most of them. I think I have, yes. I've yeah. made a, I may have missed uh, you know, two or three, but I, I, I think I've done at least 40, probably a lot more than that. And in a huge variety of boats. Yeah, we started off, well, I started off crewing, of course, because I did the uh, Admiral's Cup trials a few times as bowman, believe it or not. And I was sailing on other people's boats in those days. And I was lent a boat, Tartan 41, one year. And uh, we sailed the... Uh, uh, UFO 34 series in Cow's Week um, and uh, the prototype for that and uh, then we went on to uh, one tonners Oyster Catcher 79 we came here and won every race in, in 1979 mm. and that, that was the year of the big fast net storm um, and then we came back with you know, various other boats getting a bit bigger and then a bit smaller. This week you're sailing Oyster Catcher? Yes, Another Oyster, Oyster Catcher? Oyster Catcher 30. She's the 30th in the Oyster Catcher series and uh, it's a Eudel Frolic 42 footer and a really nice little boat. We've lightened, as I mentioned to you earlier, we've taken some weight off the keel bulb this season and she's a little bit better in light airs. We're still struggling against the, the real hot shots, but mm. we're definitely in the, in the right half of the fleet and occasionally mm. quite close to the, to the front of it. So we're, we're enjoying the boat a lot. It doesn't look like there's an awful lot of sailing going on at the well, moment, you know, but this is rather typical, isn't it, at the classic, beginning? It's classic Cow's Week, isn't it? You wouldn't, it wouldn't be Cow's Week if it, if it wasn't either blowing a hoolie or at some stage or having this challenging calm. And you sometimes wonder how on earth did, did the Solent become a popular yachting place <laughs> with this weather? And then the wind comes in and then you realise it's champagne sailing and it's wonderful and, mm. and it, it reminds you why, why we're all here and mm. why we keep coming year after year. Why do you keep coming year after year? It's, it's just a, it's, it's a shrine to yacht racing and a shrine to meeting old sailing friends. I mean, more and more as you get older, you, 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 the social side and the shore life becomes an important part of the week. You're seeing people, having fun. And as a youngster, you go to the beer tent, and as you get older, you meet friends in clubs or go to their homes or whatever. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a festival of sailing and a festival of meeting sailing friends, I mm. think, in equal measure for most mm. people. How do you approach light weather? I mean, some people just look at it and throw you their know, hands up in the air. And I always finish up, I'm a softy, because if we invite you know, 12 people to come sailing, then we take the 12 people. And what we really ought to do is to say, four of you, no, go to the beer tent, we'll see <laughs> you later. So we're, we tend to, the, the tide has a major effect here. The, the real predominant feature of cows sailing, cows week sailing, is, the, is always the tide. Mm. And I guess that in light airs, the tide becomes absolutely critical. It's so easy to get swept the wrong side of a mark, get over the line at the start, and you're toast. It's as simple as that. There's no way back from that with, with this sort of weather. So unless you can make real headway, we're all terrified of having foul tide beats in cows week, because you finish up sort of, you know, going into the shallowest water you can find, and, and desperately trying to make headway, and mm. Really, unless there's about 10 knots of wind, even the most powerful boats are just not going to make it up, up tide with, mm. a, with a dead beat, with, mm. a, with a strong solar tide. What sticks out in your mind? What's, what was your, what's been your favourite boat to compete in the Cowsby? What's well, been your favourite part? Of it? It's like trying to name a favourite child. You know, every, I'd like to think every Cows Week has been fun. But if I look back on it, I think I'd have to say that the 79 Cows Week, where we had the new Stephen Jones one-tonner, mm. That sticks out particularly because we broke the mast about two weeks before we arrived here. We did the channel race, which we were lucky enough to win. And then we came and did Cow's Week and won each of the races. And on the Thursday of Cow's Week, um, it really, really blew. We had about a 45 knot, sort of full, full gale. And um, we blew our mainsail, our mainsail split. And we effectively, we were down and off ride somewhere and we'd given up as far as the race was concerned, but we only had a weak little engine and we had a blade jib, Dacron sails in those days. So I thought we might as well sail back because we've got to get back to cows somehow. So we started beating with this blade jib and we were leading the class or pretty much when, the, when we had our problems. And uh, 
know, after about 10 minutes, I suddenly realised that we were actually overtaking people. <laughs> and it was blowing so hard that the rig we had up was the, was the rig of choice, which was great. And um, we got to the top of the course. We had to do a, a one turn around and a run back to the finish. And there was one boat ahead of us, a Swiss boat, Nadia Dubois, one tonner. And we just had to put a chute up. So we set the spinnaker with just a jib and went down the side of Cow's Green. And we had to be in doing 14 knots, which was fast in those mm. days. And as we crossed the finishing line, a moment of inattention, we wiped out in the biggest possible way. And somebody got a photograph with the keel half out of the water and the rudder beating the water like a bird's wing. And we won that race too. And I think, as far as memory book moments are concerned, that one probably did it for us. <laughs> but there's been a lot of memories of cows, and mostly good and happy times. And um, if we can, we don't like protests at all. Mm. We like to, you know, to, to socialise and stay out of the protest room. And um, they, they, they've all been good. I think that the, the boring cows weeks, and that's a big word in sailing, it's a relative term. Uh, my only real criticism is that some of the courses are very long because they need to get the bigger boats away from the, uh, the starting area and the long round and round and round with foul tides makes it a long day um, but in, in taking it a whole I'd say if you're interested in yacht racing and the festival of sailing you've got to be in cows it's yeah. as simple as that it's, it's where the, the only place to be it certainly is well thanks very much Richard. you're welcome